Meet the Partridge Family, a classic 1970 TV series that seamlessly blends family dynamics with the world of music. Starring a Hollywood icon, the show delivers a unique mix of humor, shockers, and poignant moments. Who's your favorite classic Hollywood actor from the series? As we delve into this iconic show, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts. Keep your eyes peeled for the unexpected. Do you hold a cherished memory linked to the Partridge family? Share your personal experiences in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories and what makes this show special to you. Keep watching for more revelations and nostalgia. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Partridge family? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. Fond memories surround the experience of watching The Partridge Family, a television series that left a lasting impression. The show, which aired in the 1970s, is often remembered for its lightheartedness, particularly in comparison to contemporary offerings. The primary characters, portrayed by Shirley Jones, David Cassidy, Susan Day, and Danny Bonajuice, engaged audiences with their youthful energy. The series, a contender against the popular Brady Bunch, delved into typical teenage conflicts, such as Keith's dating adventures and Danny's constant schemes. The music, noted for its innocence compared to modern compositions, added a nostalgic touch to the show. One standout aspect was the dynamic between Reuben Kincaid and Danny, providing humorous and cynical moments akin to the relationship between a cranky uncle and a mischievous troublemaker. For many viewers, it holds a special place as a favorite, surpassing the appeal of other popular series like Brady Bunch. The scripts were deemed superior, with sharper and more sarcastic lines among the cast members, contributing to the overall humor. Specific episodes, particularly in the second and third seasons, garnered particular affection. However, opinions on the fourth season vary, as some feel it lost its charm when pitted against all in the family. The addition of Ricky was met with mixed reviews. Despite the involvement of musicians other than Shirley and David in the music production, the soundtrack remains enjoyable for many, serving as a testament to its enduring popularity. Its influence extended beyond its original run, evidenced by the numerous celebrities who made appearances on the show. Its impact even resonated in later productions, such as Full House from 1987 to 1995, which borrow what ideas from the series. In summary, with its blend of humor, music, and relatable teenage experiences, The Partridge Family remains a cherished part of television history, influencing subsequent shows and leaving a lasting imprint on viewers. Filming the pilot and early episodes of The Partridge Family posed a unique situation for Susan Day. Until she reached 18, she had to live with a guardian, briefly residing with castmate Danny Bonages. The iconic Partridge Family House exterior was not exclusive to the show. It graced Bewitched, The Donna Reed Show, and Till Death as well. In 1970, I Think I Love You dethroned the Beatles' Let It Be from the top spot on the Billboard Hot 100. Despite critics deeming it unrealistic, the Partridge family mirrored aspects of reality, drawing inspiration from the Cousels, a family musical group. Susan Cousel, a member at age seven, performed their first hit, The Rain, The Park, and other things, alongside her mother, Barbara, and other teenage members. The Partridge family's musical impact was substantial, with chart-topping singles such as I Think I Love You, which sold over four million copies. Additional hits like I'll Meet You Halfway, Doesn't Someone Want to Be Wanted, and I Woke Up in Love This Morning further solidified their presence on the charts. Notably, the vocal talent behind the Partridge family included Shirley Jones, David Cassidy, John Baller, Tom Bettler, Jackie Ward, and Ron Hicklin. These singers contributed to the success of the group and its chart-topping singles. The Partridge Bus, featured in the Partridge family, showcased a unique design inspired by Piat Mondrian's geometric paintings. The distinctive pattern added a visual flair to the shows on the road scenes, making it a recognizable element for viewers. In the initial season, the show's theme song underwent significant changes. Initially titled When We're Singing with a Different Arrangement and Lyrics, it evolved into the more familiar Come On Get Happy during the second season. This revised theme persisted throughout the series, becoming synonymous with the musical journey of the Partridge family. Before stepping into the role of Shirley Partridge, Shirley Jones was initially considered for Carol Brady on The Brady Bunch. However, she declined, preferring a character portraying a working mother over the traditional housewife role. 
This decision led her to the TV show where she became a pivotal part of the cast. Intriguingly, both shows shared a time slot on Avi's Friday Night lineup during the early 1970s. Each aspect contributes to the overall narrative of the show's place in television history, highlighting its distinctiveness and impact. Susan Day, initially not the producer's first choice for Laurie in The Partridge Family, faced competition from Olivia Newton-John. Interestingly, years later, Day was the initial pick for Sandy and Grease, a role eventually taken by Newton-John. In an animated spin-off, Partridge Family 2200 AD, Danny Bonajuice, Susan Day, Susan Cruff, and Brian Forster lent their voices to reprise their Partridge Family roles. According to Shirley Jones, the cast members, including Lori, Danny, Tracy, and both Chris's, were given a chance to showcase their musical talents in a recording studio. However, they didn't meet the expectations. The Partridge Family consistently secured a spot in the top 20 during its initial three seasons, anchoring the Friday night time slot. However, a pivotal shift to Saturdays marked a turning point, pitting it against the highly rated All in the Family on CBS. This change, coupled with the lead actor's desire to move on, prompted the network to bring the series to an end in late April 1974. In some early episodes, the lead actor didn't lend their voice to the musical performances, opting for lip syncing to another singer's voice. This unique approach added a layer of versatility to the show's presentation. Additionally, a cast member departed in 1971, ostensibly due to a parent's job transfer to West Virginia. However, in a 2005 interview, another cast member revealed that the departure was rooted in a lack of enthusiasm for the role, as the parents pushed them into it, leading to a replacement. These behind-the-scenes developments shed light on the challenges faced by the show, from strategic time slot changes to casting adjustments. They underscore the complexities that contributed to the eventual conclusion of its television journey. The Partridge Family, a notable TV series from the 1970s, faced unique recognition despite being a fictional group. Surprisingly, they received a Best New Artist Grammy Award nomination in 1970, a category won by The Carpenters. In the late 1970s, the landscape of television shifted towards family acts and variety shows. ABC Television, along with Sid and Marty Croft, aimed to revive The Partridge Family as a variety hour. However, David Cassidy and Shirley Jones declined, leading to the infamous Brady Bunch Variety Hour instead. When exhaustion prompted David Cassidy's departure from the show, producers explored options for his replacement. Considerations included Rick Springfield taking over the role or introducing Wesley Eura as a next-door neighbor, singing his way into the group. These behind-the-scenes decisions and nominations offer additional layers to the Partridge family's story, showcasing its impact beyond the screen. Susan Day harbored a lasting crush on David Cassidy throughout the show's run. Their on-screen chemistry was mirrored by Day's personal admiration for Cassidy. In the first season, the Partridge family featured a dog named Simone. However, the canine character disappeared after the initial episodes of the second season without explanation. Originally, the plan was for the Cousels, a real-life musical family, to star in the series. However, they withdrew when producers opted for Shirley Jones to assume the motherly role, replacing Barbara Cousel. This change altered the show's trajectory and dynamics. These lesser-known aspects of the series shed light on the personal dynamics among the cast members and the evolving creative decisions behind the scenes, providing a deeper understanding of the Partridge family's journey in television history.